Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, where I'm looking? I'm looking over here. All right, let me take my glasses off. Uh, welcome to the Beast Within Lopez. This is your channel, so let's get to work. All right, so um, I have to uh, have a bit of a honest moment with you here. Uh, I know I've been saying a bunch of, on a lot of my videos, I've been talking about um, how I have overcome uh, my addiction to pornography. I've overcome my my uh here let me just read this because I'm, I'm 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 ready i haven't written in in many days now um so if you don't mind i'm gonna i'm gonna read this to you um so yeah here we go uh lately <clears throat> here let me see this looks like this look better here does that look better i don't know i'm sorry this up looks better uh, i have been lowering my standards and i've started to slip back kind of to, to where I was before. Um, I, I know for sure that I can't do this by myself. Uh, I need to surround myself around individuals that are that are helping to change other people's lives. Uh, it's not an easy thing to say this uh, at all. <clears throat> and I was very naive to, to believe that I had uh, conquered my addiction to pornography. I, I have not conquer that sorry that, that can i put my head in there here uh now i apologize if i'm not looking directly at you here, here I, can, I can do both okay let's do this uh, i was naive to think that uh, i had overcome my my depression um that that's it's not a thing that you just get over uh at, at all especially with, with you, when you've been struggling with it for years um let's see I, I am here in this world living it with you. I mean, I'm, we're, we're all the same. We're all, we're not all the same, of course, but we all have our own struggles. And, 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 to, to, and, to, and to think that, that, I have, that I overcame them so simply was, was extremely naive of me. Um, it was a great feeling that way. I really felt like I could conquer the world. Uh, again, I believe that a lot of that was not well, not only my belief in God, Yahweh, Elohim, whatever you may believe, the higher power. Um, I mean, there there is one true name, of course, and I'm still trying to figure that out. But um, uh, that was just that was the the other part of that. Sorry, I, I should have written the, written this down as well. Um, the, the other part of that. Uh, of course, it was a religious experience that I went to, I believe. Uh, but the other part was chemically induced. And I believe I've said this a few times now. Um, but a lot of this was chemically induced uh, due to the, not the actual, um, not the, I don't, it may, be a, it may have been a combination. I think I've said this before. It may have been a combination between the, um, oxycodone and the um, I don't, I've written down uh, the the uh, the steroid that I was on that was making my freaking brain feel like it was it was vibrating it was going through withdrawals for sure that's what that is because I had to tit titrate it is that right titrate it down uh, extremely powerful medication um, and I, I wouldn't I couldn't lie to you and say I didn't I didn't want it again because I, I long for that that feeling and that's a dangerous thing um there's i have a, I have a good friend of mine uh, kind of a, a friend of a friend who's well so his wife was is friends with my sister and uh, he uh, of course that's that's his wife uh but he uh, I, I had no idea about this but he apparently has has struggled with with thing with opioids uh, like a lot of people nowadays have, and there is, I think I'm, I don't write this down, there's another substance you can take, uh, I know, substances, but there's another substance that you can take um, that has had profound effects on people that have opioid addiction. Um, Joe Rogan's talked about it, uh, a lot of people has talked about it. It's illegal here, of course, in the United States of America, because it would appear that the 
the people that control these medications um, do not want us to get off of them. They don't actually want us to get better. They want us to stay addicted to keep making money. It is it is a money-making scheme, 100%. Um, and it's a terrible, terrible thing. Back to what I'm saying, though. So it's, it's legal in Mexico, not legal here in the United States. Um, Dad, come on, stretch with an I. I'm so sorry. I forget the name of it. But it's supposed to be absolutely amazing. Um, I really hope that I can get over this feeling because it, it's... It's not a good feeling. I mean, it, it. I have a longing for this chemical. Um, but again, that may be just because of my depression. Um, me even saying that could just be me trying to not believe of what it really is. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. Um, but, uh, yeah. I have been watching, uh, to, to, to change subject here, I have been watching videos on, on YouTube on how to make the picture quality better. I don't know if y'all see, there's this little little dot right there, right where my finger is, right at the tip of my finger. Uh, that's, that's the camera. So I'm surprised you can see me. The other camera can't see me very well. But uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, that, that, I was extremely naive to believe that I had overcome uh, my my addiction to pornography, uh, and I was beginning to backslide, and that has scared me to death. Because honestly, I, I my my purpose is to help people, and and the fact that I have slipped back is 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 not okay at all. Um, I mean, it is life. I did write this down. Let me make sure. Because I think it sounded pretty good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Choose to interact with life uh, instead of letting life happen to you. Um, it, it's time that we, we stop just letting the days go by. It's time that we actually do things. Um, I am... It's, it's really starting to piss me off. I am not physically uh, able to do as many things as I should. Um but I'm, I'm trying to get better. Uh, the pain is no joke. Uh, it's a very real pain. Um, pain medications don't help. Uh, just ibuprofen right now. Although my sister is saying it takes time. I just... It sucks. Which she had some pretty crazy surgery. So I need to listen to her. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's not easy at all. Uh, dealing with, with, with this constant pain and it feels like my freaking I got I keep on getting woken up by it feels like I'm being jerked in my lower back crazy crazy feeling I don't like it it really freaks me out uh, but on a, a freaking positive note sorry to be so dark and everything on here um, I just just want you to know that, that you're again you're, you're not alone at all I am I'm here in the struggle with you 100% I am um, and I, I don't know, uh, I, I need to do more and it frustrates me so much that I'm not able to, um, but I am, I'm getting back in it. I haven't even been watching, uh, the motivational speeches that I was so li strongly listening to. I've just started listening to them again this morning. Uh, man, I've been backsliding so much. Anyways, sorry guys. Uh, you are so freaking important to me. Your your life is so precious. And please believe that. Please, please, please. You are here for a purpose. Everything that you have gone through in this life, every single thing can, if you choose to allow it, be used to help others. It's up to you completely. If you want to hold on to that pain like I have for so many years because it has become it has just become like a, a comforting friend. Uh, and it's crazy even saying that, but that's what it was like to me. If you have that same feeling, just know that that's a lie, every single bit of it. Uh, there, there are a lot of movies uh, that, that have, uh, it's crazy how some movies have these profound Meanings now that I now I look back at it, I need to look up these <laughs> these movies again um, before I speak on this more, um, so I can give you actual 
uh, examples, unless you know examples of to where there's movies to where um, you enter this this I don't know, almost another world, and you're you're comforted by lies, and the lies are are so good that you almost you don't want to go back to, to the real world because the real world is painful and it, it really is that's not a movie that that's real deal this this life is a painful painful thing but i really think that it that it is used as a fire to forge us and that's just this is my way of looking at it uh, i've looked at had this thought in my mind. Can I see this? I've had this thought in my mind for for many years, um, to where uh, we are like clay, and the world is like a, a furnace, and the whatever you believe in. I personally believe in God, one hundred percent. There's no denying that whatsoever. I believe that that for me, God is using the the fire to and and the, the anvil because uh, i've gotten that crap beat out of me so much like a lot of you have like the majority of you have i really wish i need to do something better because i like i like talk with my hands i want you to see that i'm talking with my hands i don't know i just want to share that with you for some reason but um it's every life experience again sorry if i keep repeating myself here um, but I really hope that you listen, watch, and listen if you can't see, which I don't know how you'd be able to find this, unless somebody is really awesome just letting you hear this, which that would be freaking amazing. I'm just saying. Um, but I don't know, man. It, it's pretty amazing. Um, I'm back. I'm glad that I'm back to this. Uh, I'm back to writing again. Um, and I, I don't do this to gloat or anything like this at all. 100%. I'm not doing any of this to gloat. I am flawed. I am not perfect whatsoever. Um, it's, it's ridiculous that I, that I thought that I had overcome everything so simply. Um, I do have faith. And I am putting in works, not just words. Faith without works is dead. There, you No. You have to put what you believe in your must <clears throat> i was listening to tony robbins this morning uh your your must you get what your musts are not what you must or not what you can have or not what you should have but what you must have the things that you strive for um so i mean this is no joke to me at all uh i don't know how i'm gonna get everything to work out i just uh, keep trying to put one step forward every day um even though it'd be so much simpler just to stop and there's no way i can do that because there are so freaking many people that have stopped and have their stop is is saying goodbye to this world and that that breaks my heart i'm not going to get emotional i'm getting better at not getting so freaking emotional um, sorry, you're so close to my face. Here, is that better? Y'all were all up close, candid camera. Y'all remember that show? It was a cool show back in the day. Um, but sorry, my voice is, is scratchy. I haven't had my tea or water yet this morning. Um, but today is a Friday. Is it Friday or is it? Yeah, it's Friday. So I hope y'all have a may um, an amazing freaking Friday. Um, I didn't mean that to to rhyme. Um, and this the weekend's coming up uh please stay positive whatever's going on in your life whatever you can choose oh sorry folks uh you can choose to i know it's not easy i know it's not uh but you can choose to whatever circumstance you're in and to see the positive in it even if it's the worst experience in the world, you can use that experience to help others. Uh, you're not lost, you're on your own journey. And that is amazing that you're even on that journey. It is so freaking awesome that you're on that journey. Just try to have goals written down. 
All right. You must have goals written down, not try. You must have goals written down to where you know where you're going or you're just going to kind of meander all over the place and not really get anywhere. Uh, I speak from experience with that. Uh, you are not alone. I continually want to share my life experiences with you uh, just to to reinforce that, that you're not alone at all. And there are hundreds upon thousands of people that are struggling with, with things like you are. Um, again, maybe not the exact same thing. I understand that, but something similar. I got you all close to my face again. Sorry. <laughs> um, but that's a weird angle for me. Is that a better angle? from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, but I'm going to end this now. I can't believe it's been 15 minutes. Uh, I try to keep it around 5 to 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, you're not lost. You're not alone. You're not forgotten. Everything in your life you're experiencing can be used to help not only yourself, but others. And that's what this is all about. That's what this life is about. That's why you're here, is to help others honestly so uh with that with all that heavy duty nonsense um i freaking love y'all so much sorry is my camera going in and out which i don't know what's going on i think there we go all right um you're not lost you're not alone you're not forgotten you're loved i love you so so much and i think i just said that a second ago and i'm so freaking serious about it uh, I may not even know who I'm talking to, but I do love you 100%. You are part of my family. Family is who you, is, is partly blood, but it's mainly who you choose to bring into your life. That is your family. So you are my family, whoever you are. I, fuck, I freaking love you. Sorry. I freaking love you so much. You're so important. Don't give up. All right. Uh, don't, beat the, don't beat yourself up. Seriously, quit being so hard on yourself. I keep having to tell people this and myself. I'm crazy hard on myself because my standards are so high. I uh, always have been. But uh, don't beat yourself up. This world will do it for you. Hope you have an amazing freaking Friday. And... uh I love you guys. All right. Bye.